Okay, I admit it. I miss sidekicks. I like the idea of having a superhero who's the main protagonist in the story and then having, you know, a little bit of assistance. Somebody who's going to be there, help him fight crime, help him take the bad guys out, but also somebody who's kind of like a superhero in training. I like that aspect and it has almost completely disappeared from comics. I don't know. Anybody uh, know any stories lately where there's a true sidekick? Yeah, Batman's got Robin, but... Let's face it, Robin's kind of his own individual character right now. I think he even has his own books, right? So, what happened to the idea of the the sidekick? The superhero-sidekick combination. The dynamic duo, as they say. I have no clue. I think it was one of the most critical aspects of a lot of comic books because it did a couple of things. Number one, if you had a superhero that was popular... You wanted to bring up the next generation of readers. So, as teenagers and adults were reading it for the superhero, you also had kids who could be relatable to a childlike superhero who was a sidekick. That's the whole point of Robin. You know, there's there's the cartoon, I think it's called Justice Society of America, I don't remember, but it's one of the DC cartoons where Batman literally says, I need to have somebody who's relatable so he doesn't scare kids. That's what Robin's for. Now, that's a really cool way of retroactively looking at why he brought a um, a sidekick in. But it does kind of play to the fact that kids sort of saw somebody who's, you know, in their age range fighting alongside their hero, fighting alongside Batman, right? So that's why you had Bucky supporting Captain America. That's why you had, what was it, Speedy? Yeah, Speedy with Green Arrow. Those were awesome stories. Yeah, they got goofy, they got campy, whatever. But one of the things, too, that was really nice about those stories is the almost father-son-like relationship, that mentorship relationship between an adult and a kid that has somewhat disappeared. It was a way to bring a certain type of values to the comic books. It was this almost leave-it-to-beaver type mentality but you know what it worked it was great when in the pages of a comic book you would see the hero doing his thing making sure that he'd beat the bad guys fighting evil destroying whatever nemesis or forces were getting in the way of justice but then at the same time you had this other aspect of it of the person who gets to ride along with somebody who is powerful the person who gets to help out the hero the person who gets to learn firsthand gets to witness what it's like from a point of view of a child of how evil is taken down that was awesome that was some of the best storylines you can have and somewhere along the lines comic books started taking this path of darkness so the joker comes along and he beats the bricks off of Robin. Tough to have a sidekick after that, right? Tough to justify saying, hey, I'm going to take this 10-year-old kid. We're going to go on adventures where people shoot at us. I mean, think about it. Captain America's taking Bucky with him and he's like, oh, let's go fight these Nazis. They've got machine guns. You'll be fine, Bucky. Don't worry about it. But it's really hard to justify that after a story like um, the, the killing joke. It's tough to have that because... Now the stakes are too high. You just can't put a kid in there. But I like the escapism. I like the fantasy. I like having a dynamic duo out there. So please, somebody, somebody write a story where you can bring back a sidekick. Because I don't like legacy characters. I know you're saying, but you like sidekicks? Why don't you like legacy characters? Because they just don't work and they seem like a lot of them turn into jerks after a while. I'm serious because you know what? I used to like X-23, but just the fact that she took over the quote-unquote mantle, I kind of don't like that anymore. I don't like that there's a new Wolverine. Why not just keep X-23 as Wolverine's sidekick? And he's had a couple of hair in there. You know, he's he's had Kitty Pride used to hang out with him for a little, bit, uh, a little bit. Um, though I think he wanted to date her after a while, which was kind of weird. Uh, and, you know, Jubilee was there. There was even a little bit of a, a run where Cannonball was kind of like hanging out with Wolverine, learning the ins and the outs of the superhero slash mutant X-Men business, right? But other than that, 
it's gone, it's disappeared. There's no more of that father-son relationship. A lot of that mentorship that used to be present in comic books, where there was like an adult teaching kids has disappeared. You know, if you think about it, Professor X, if you read some of the original X-Men stories, he's basically like an adult, an adult who has dirty thoughts about Jean Grey, but an adult nonetheless who wants to teach these kids, wants to mentor them, wants to give them resources and instill a sense of values that's gonna take them into adulthood. So that even though they've got powers, even though the world fears them and hates them, they stand against evil. They look out for the people who can't look out for themselves. And you know what? They end up being heroes. So let's bring that back. Well, like I said, those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are. Thanks.